All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will teach you on the scriptures, and salutations to all you brothers out there. I want to get into a lesson concerning this quote here from Booker T. Washington, and it reads here A lie doesn't become truth. Wrong doesn't become right, and evil doesn't become good just because it's accepted by a majority. And pretty much in this society that we currently live in, whatever the majority of the people agree on, that's what tends to be pushed as, you know, what's right and what's truth. Okay? But in reality, that's not the case. All right? Just because a, a simple majority, okay? Says that, you know, X, Y, Z is the truth and it's right. That, that that doesn't mean that. And you see a lot of people, you know, they're starting to realize that just because, you know, the majority says, you know, that this is, you know, right. Or just because, you know, the media is pushing this on me. That doesn't mean it's necessarily true. And that's the reason I'll say this. And that's the reason why the majority actually believes particular statements that are said by particular officials because these officials okay they have you know political ties they have uh business ties okay to you know agendas that are being pushed okay and they, with that being said they have connections with politicians they have connections with uh, uh business owners they have connections with, you know, scientists, professors, doctors, okay? And with that all being said, that's why particular things can, you know, basically be fed to the masses, okay? Because all these people, okay, they work together and it's basically a conglomerate, okay? These said people... All right, they have the power and they own all these, you know, uh, television, you know, station outlets, radio station outlets, social media outlets. OK, they, they own the, um, you know, particular institutions, whether it be a medical institution, whether it be a, you know, educational institution, a financial institution. They have connections. They have the power. They own all these things. So. These particular statements, okay, are nonstop pushed to the people and, and you know, uh, into the masses. And seeing the masses as a whole, they believe these said things because in their eyes, these people have the, you know, the correct uh, credentials, all right? They have the correct c c uh, credentials to be, you know, tr uh, trusted or in their eyes, okay? All right? You see, we're living in a time period, though, where truth is, you know, coming out. And, you know, you have a lot of people resisting now. And it's ultimately because, as it says here in the book of Proverbs 12 and 19, it says, The lip of truth shall be established forever. And you see, truth is always going to win, no matter what. Okay? The truth shall always win. And it will always be around. It will always be, you know... You know, uh, be put into place. They'll always, you know, overcome. And a lot of, you know, uh, basically all these lies and deceptions now, and all the, you know, this, uh, all this trickery that's out here, is being, you know, gobbled up by the truth. Okay. All right. It says here, but a lying tongue is but for a moment, and you see, a lying tongue is only but for a moment, as it also says. The joy of the hypocrite is only for a moment. All right. All these things are, you know, just a moment in time. And you see right now that, you know, that that main hypocrite. That one that has that 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 lying tongue. All right. The main person is whom? Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. And you see his. um, His lies and deceptions, they're, they're not working anymore. OK, they're not working. Like how it used to be. And that's because we're in a time period where, as it says here, 
in uh, Second Ezra. Okay, I believe it's the sixth chapter. Yep, it says here in Second Ezra, the uh, sixth chapter, and the twenty seventh verse. It says here, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched." See, we're in the time period now where evil is getting put out, and deceit is being quenched. Quenched, and, and why is that? That's because, as the scriptures say, Esau is being made bare. Truth is coming out. All right. Hey, the Lord's putting the, the spirit on his prophets, okay, to um, understand this Bible. The Lord's putting the spirit on, you know, particular, you know, whistleblowers to come out with the truth. All right. Hey, the, the Lord set up the Internet so truth can be spread. So all now, now all these lies and deceits, they're being quenched up. Okay. Evil's getting put out. Light's coming into into play, all right? And it says here, as for faith, it shall flourish. You see, faith is flourishing. You have the true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai returning unto him, okay? It says here, corruption shall be overcome. And that's what's happening. Corruption's being overcome, okay? All these lies that they pushed out, you know, in these religious institutions about, you know, the Bible, all right? It, it, it's being, you know, put down, you know? Hey, all, all, hey, all, you got all these particular medical professions that are coming out with the truth about, you know, particular things. All right. They're telling you what's what. <laughs> you know. People are coming out about the financial institution. Hey, people are, you know, that are in the Hollywood, you know, basically, uh, uh, you know, in, you know, in Hollywood, they're telling you the truth about the industry. They're telling you what they have to do in order to get the, you know that fame. You know, you know, it always requires them selling out. It always requires them, you know, basically having to uh, lie to the people, push out in a particular agenda. You see, stuff is uh, it's all being exposed now. And it says, "And the truth, which hath had been so long without fruit, shall be declared." And right now, truth is being declared. Okay, the Lord is, you know, like I said, He's setting up His prophets, all right, to tell you the truth. And then the Lord, you know, has the Spirit on, like I said, all these whistleblowers to come out with, you know, with information as well. So this is what's happening. This is the time period that we're living in. Okay, even though you're still gonna have the majority of the people, they're still gonna believe in these lies. They're gonna believe in, you know, all this deception. They're gonna believe in the wickedness. Yeah, the majority is going to believe in it, but not everybody. And it, as this quote says, a lie doesn't become truth, wrong doesn't become right, and evil doesn't become good just because it's accepted by the majority. Just because the majority says that, you know, hey, this is this is right, <laughs> that doesn't mean that. And look, the Lord, he's going to judge. You see, a lot of these people, they forgot that the Heavenly Father is, you know, real. He exists, and he has a standard, and he, he uh, executes judgment, okay? If you break his laws, this is what happens. This is the punishment. And a lot of people are about to, to actually really learn about the Lord, okay, in a terrible way. They're not going to sit there and get any mercy. Because when they could have learned about the Lord, they didn't listen to his prophets. Okay, so the Lord is going to deal with them. All right. And uh, let me get this real quick. Probably end it off with this. This is uh, Isaiah the... Uh, Fifth chapter, we always get this out. This goes exactly with what, um, oh, yep, let's get all these. <clears throat> this is this basically goes into that quote, okay? This is Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto him, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, and woe means destruction. So, those that are calling evil good and, and, and what's good evil, you're going to be destroyed, okay? That put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. So destruction to all you people who don't believe in the Heavenly Father in the Bible, you're going to lose at the end of the day, all right? Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and the men of strength to mingle strong drink, okay? 
And that's going into actually like philosophies, not actual drink, you know, actual, you know, liquor. Okay. Since you want to play with all these philosophies, since you want to believe all these things, destruction unto you. It says, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous for him. And you see, that's what the majority of these people do. Okay. They justify the wicked so they can get a, 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 a you know, a, you know, a cut. Okay. You see these people. They want to get those benefits still. That's why they believe in this system. Because they want to, you know, continue to live lavishly. And it could be simple things. Hey, they want to continue to go, uh, you know, to a restaurant or a bar. So they do what? They comply, you know, with the uh, set agenda. They want to continue to work. You know, so they can go on, you know, the vacation. You know, they, they, they get particular, you know, injectable fluids. All right. So they can continue to go to the basketball game, you know? A lot of these people justify a hey, the wicked. Okay? So they can get that that, that reward. But hey, what, hey, but woe unto you. And it says, and to take away the righteousness of, of the righteous from him. And you see, these people, they get upset with, with those that are standing on their feet, okay? And, and not, you know, for lack of words, you know, uh, I'll say it like this. For those who aren't bowing down to the image of Baal, okay? The ones that aren't bowing down to the beast system. They're going to, you know, speak evil of them. They're going to, you know, attack them, whether it be, you know, financially, whether it be physically, emotionally, okay? They're going to attack them in some way, form, or fashion, all right? But at the end of the day, you're those who are doing these things... You're going to be destroyed. Because this system, this current system that we're living in is a temporary kingdom. And this temporary kingdom that we're living in, living in, all right, is in the stage of uh, 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 decadence, okay? Meaning it's in the stage of decline. It's in the stage of um, decaying. And when something decays, what is it? What, what happens to it? It breaks apart. It falls. It crumbles. And that's the stages that we're living in. We are not in the stages of this place, you know, um, of it, you know, being in its pinnacle. It's being in its height. That was during the time of the 1950s and 60s. We're past that stage now. The pinnacle of uh, this, you know, a uh, uh, system was during the 50s and the 60s. It's a wrap now. Now we're in the, uh, you know, we've been in the, uh, uh, this decline for a while, but the, the, especially these past two years, maybe three, but especially the past two years, this place has gone on a uh, a huge downward slope. All right, and it's only going to get worse. But with that, you know, I'm gonna end it off. Okay, hey, this stuff is only but for a moment. All right, and with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to you, Hal Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.